What's up everybody, this is Procreator Mark Gomez. I'm here with my 2020 Yamaha Superjet. This is the last of this model, had to get one. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna be racing this thing, just having a good time at Body Beach, getting my training in. Now, this tray is terrible. The EVA from the factory is, it, you forget about it. You gotta get the best on it, which is HydroTurf. And I got Mitch Ladd inside here at TC Freeride. He's got the tips and tricks. He's done a lot of these recently. So he's gonna show us how to make that happen pretty quick. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, guys, we're inside TC shop. Mitch has already gotten to work. I mean, I went uh, into the garage for a second and he already had the sides ripped off. So we're already going. But today we're installing a Hydro Turf kit on the Superjet. Really easy, these guys, they make it uh, set up for if you wanna take the rail caps off. We're just gonna take the sides off, we're gonna do the base, uh, we're gonna add some kicktails to it, these little side wedge kicktails, um, corner kicks. We're gonna be able to get your knee through the middle a little bit easier than your, your standard uh, kicktail, um, but we're gonna knock this out and we're gonna show you guys how it's done. Okay, so working with Mitch, we just gotta get these corner pieces off so we get access to the bottom. We can take off this back panel, what, there's like four rivets on here. So we pull the middle strip, four rivets out, and that way we've got access to the base mat and we can pull this all off and get ready to prep to put our new pieces on. All right guys, when we're removing the base of the turf and the sides, um, we're pretty much scraping the old material off. Any kind of metal scraper is gonna work great. Today, I'm actually using Milwaukee uh, Multi-Tool. This thing came in handy. One of my friends opened my eyes to this and it's actually been pretty useful. Ultimately, we wanna get the, EV the old EVA off. There's gonna be some residual glue, but because we're putting contact cement back on it, we don't need to do the absolute most perfect job. If you're doing a peel and stick, then you need to get it to down to the paint. But again, today we're using contact cement, so getting the majority of the EVA off is gonna be our goal. Especially since we're gonna be using contact cement. Weldwood is the best stuff. They have a gel form. I recommend the non-gel. This is the stuff to use. You can get it directly from HydroTurf. First, shake vigorously. We got the Superjet ready to go now, guys. So we're gonna start putting uh, contact cement on our pieces. We got a, it's two-part contact cement. So we're gonna be putting it on the Superjet on our area that we're gonna be laminating, and we're gonna be putting it on the Hydro Turf. Now before that, it's got these Hydro Turf logos. They're awesome, but unfortunately it leads to stretching when we put on the mat kit and glue can seep in. So, little pro tip, lay your uh, mat down here, take painter's tape, stretch it across, and you're gonna end up having it look like this, which is gonna prevent glue from the outside seeping in. And when you go to adhere it, you're not gonna be able to pull this logo apart as easily. So not huge gloppy um, coverage in one certain area. We can get it started, but you wanna spread the glue out in nice thin coats. I like to do two coats personally for each application. And that means two coats on the Superjet, on the application side, and two coats on your material. So again, nice thin coats. It's gonna help you guys if you're using a fresh can of contact cement. What happens is some guys like to keep this left over and it gets, a, it gets a little thick from sitting. So I highly recommend if you're doing a fresh job, fresh can goes a long way and it's gonna spread out a lot more evenly and a lot nicer. Again, with this logo especially, we don't need to glop in anything around the edges that's gonna potentially run through the seams. Not gonna look good, so I recommend dabbing it on the outside and brushing across. All right guys, so we've let the contact cement set up. We're just on that verge of tacky like I was looking for. Uh, now we're gonna start with our piece. I recommend starting from the top, um, not bending too much because we don't wanna mess up the logo. If we have any excess overhang on the bottom, we're gonna be doing the base layer so we can hide any imperfections when you do a razor cut on the bottom. So always start from the top, work your way down. All right guys, now that we've got this all laid down, before I peel the masking, and we're gonna be hitting all the surface area here to activate the contact cement. This is a little pro tip, so follow up with that and it'll help it be adhered perfectly. All right guys, so now we're gonna be putting in these custom corner kicks. Now these were meant for the Kawasaki 1500 SXR. They're a little bit wider. So to put them on a Superjet, um, we just have to be doing some custom shaping to get these guys fit the way I wanted them to go. Um, got them glued down. Now we're gonna do the base. From the look of it, you always wanna do, when you're doing multiple layers, you always wanna do a dry fit. So putting on this kit, it's looking like everything's gonna be good. The thing about HydroTurf materials, as you glue from one end to the other, I come up a touch short, so as I'm laying it down, I can pull the material slightly and I'll actually end up making up that gap that I want. 
This is my favorite tool right here. Uh, air 90 degree um, angle grinder. Uh, small two inch disc, um, light duty uh, sanding grit. But you just come through whisking the corner and we're gonna get our shape a lot softer so that when we roll our final material over, we're not having to do any hard cuts. All right guys, time for the top piece. When you're doing this, we're gonna roll from the front to the back. Try to stick your uh, front two corners along the front, get that tacked and then move down the middle so you can spread your material out toward the outside. All right, so using this big flat blade here, now we'll take the material, it pulled in, or it pushed out a little bit more than I wanted it to, which is okay. So you can take this flat blade, push down on the end, and tuck it against the side material and it's gonna look a lot cleaner on your final install. So we're gonna end up putting this uh, back brace back on with the uh, rivets. So what we're gonna do is take a fresh razor blade, hugging the top here, we're going to follow that bond line across. Super Jets are wonderful because they have a double bond line, depending on which model you get. Follow that as flush as you can, as nice as you can make it, and we'll put that, um, that retainer back on. All right, we got that done. That's a hydro turf job on a new Yamaha Superjet. That was pretty, uh, you know what? It's just a lot of work, but you gotta have patience. Take your time. There's, for the most part, the template is cut, but when you add in a few different custom shapes, take your time, measure twice, cut once. I wanna thank TC Freeride here at the shop and um, Mitch over here for helping me out. If you guys have any questions, visit hydroturf.com. Check out all their uh, applications of hydro turf for all jet skis out there. Got custom cuts, colors, everything out there and have fun, be safe, we'll see you out in the water.